hey everyone welcome back to the channel thank you so much for your support please do not forget to like subscribe share turn on post notifications today we're going to be making a dessert sour cream pound now as a precursor to this please make sure that these ingredients are at room temperature first thing you're going to do is preheat your oven to 325 degrees uh, we are using a princess house mixer if you do need a sturdy stable mixer let me know i can get you one now from here first thing we're going to do is add three and a half cups of sugar to the mixing bowl from there we're going to go ahead and add in three softened sticks of unsalted butter you don't want to use salted butter because you don't want it to come out salty so we're going to use unsalted uh, unfortunately i didn't take out the butter early enough so i had to melt it in the microwave that's why you still see it like that i would recommend at least two hours prior to you baking you take out the butter you're going to go ahead and mix your sugar and butter mixture until you get a clumpy sh sugary formation uh, i increase the speed just so i can get it done faster i'm quite impatient if you know me you know i, I don't have patience to wait for certain things uh from there you're gonna go ahead and alternate adding in six jumbo eggs also at room temperature with three cups of flour so you add a little bit of egg you add a little bit of flour and you're gonna do that until you've incorporated all six eggs and all three cups of flour you want to do this on a slower speed because you don't want to over mix your batter reason being you're going to be adding in more ingredients after these two which is going to require mixing so you mix on a lower speed to do so now get you a, uh, a little ladle turn spoon spatula whatever you have a spoon if you don't have any of those and you're going to go ahead and scrape the excess flour from the side of the bowl and add it into the batter this ensures that you've used and incorporated three cups of flour from there you're just going to continue to mix and you're going to begin adding the remainder of your ingredients first thing is going to be one cup or eight ounces of sour cream hence why it's sour cream pound cake little tip here add in a half teaspoon of vanilla extract and almond extract most people only go vanilla i went vanilla and almond you're also going to add in a quarter teaspoon of baking soda you're going to go ahead and mix it all up till it becomes smooth go ahead and get you a bunt pan uh, you're going to first spray it down with some crisco pam whichever you got uh, i would recommend using the baking version of those sprays that will help prevent stickiness of the cake while it's baking. Then you go ahead and flour it. On top of that, same reason, helps with the cake not, sti not sticking to the pan while you're baking. Now, all bakers know, if you're not making a mess, it ain't gonna taste right. So, as you see, my stove is a mess, and that's fine. I went ahead and dusted out all the excess flour, so it should look just like that. From there, grab your batter, and you're gonna go ahead and pour it into the bunt pan and you just want to rotate the bunt pan as you're pouring it in uh, use that same spoon spatula or ladle whichever you have and get all the batter out of the bowl and into the pan by the time you finish doing all this mixing your oven should already be at 325 because this mixing process usually takes about 20 uh, roughly 15 to 20 minutes which will give your oven enough time to preheat as you can see I'm still making a mess trust me it came out wonderful uh, you can ask anyone at First Baptist Church of Plantation where we had this for the bake sale uh, they'll tell you it was magnificent From there, we're just going to kind of shake it out, smooth it out, even out and level it out in the bowl. Uh, go ahead and pop your oven open. It's going to go in the oven 
anywhere from an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 45 minutes. Now this will all depend on your oven because all ovens do cook differently. What I used was I used a long toothpick to go ahead and poke you know it after about an hour and 20 minutes. If the toothpick comes out clean, the cake is ready. If it comes out with batter, the inside of your cake is not cooked. So I put it back in because there was a little bit of batter that came out. I let it run for about five more minutes. And then there it is. I took it out. I let it cool. It took about 30 minutes to cool. You don't want to try to flip it while it's hot. One, you're going to burn yourself. Two, it's going to come out and it's not going to rest well. So as you see, the space, it's automatically spaced itself. And that's because we use the Pam and the flour mixture. Get you a nice little cake dish. Go ahead and flip it over. Two taps and it comes right out on the bowl. All right, go ahead and cut it up and enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, leave a comment, drop a subscribe. You can go ahead and click on any one of these two links here to go check out some of our other videos. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you.